Aquarius, welcome to your January of 2022 reading. My name is Brandon Tobias. It's a complete honor to have you here on our channel, True Love and Lives, here weekly. Um, the goal of this channel is to give you weekly and monthly updates in your true love life and your legacy life, meaning how are you going to leave a legacy here on earth and how and when and how do you navigate your true love situation um, with your host, Brandon Tobias. So these are going to be messages for your upcoming month of January 2022. I hope you enjoy. Let's get right into the messages and open a portal. Opening up this ceremony here now through the power of unconditional love, calling in the guides, angels, masters, and loved ones, beings of pure love and light to help give helpful guidance and messages for the sign of Aquarius for January of 2022. Thank you so much for being here, guides and angels. This ceremony is now officially open. Thank you so much. This wanted to pop up in the reverse. And Aquarius, I, uh, it's been a little while, so welcome back. And uh, as I've always said, something unusual typically happens during your reading. You guys are always, the, there's always similar messages and themes going on in all the other readings. And then your reading pops up and something crazy happens. <laughs> and this time it was the Seven of Cups wanting to pop out in the reverse, despite me typically not doing reversals. <laughs> For readings. Now, what I'm going to take this as, because it popped out like this, it's kind of in the corner, but I'm going to take it as a reversal. I'm going to take it as an omen as well. Um, it's almost like the imaginary becoming more and more and more the reality. Uh, the things that you thought were maybe non-existent in the real world, quote unquote, the 3D, the physical, that are only taking place in the 5D or another realm or another dimension, the things in your head, the things in your imagination, the things that you thought only should have existed in that place are now becoming real. And they have the opportunity to become more and more real. Uh, the faster, I'm hearing the faster that you can open to allow these things in, the more you can integrate the spiritual world with you, within your physical world for your benefit. And the important message here, Aquarius, is in this coming month of January 2022, I just saw 222, as you allow more of the spiritual world into your real world, this can drastically impact in a positive way to help you see things that you've never seen before and see things in a way you've never seen them. Um, drastically improving or transforming your perspective on life Whereas things that were already set can morph, transform, and shift into something that allows for greater awareness and thus greater positive impact. This is the first message I'm receiving here with the reverse. But coming down into the earth, into the physical body, into the 3D reality and 3D life here. Knight of Cups, Two of Wands, Temperance. Ten of Wands in the Tower. So right now it's going to take some time to integrate what is occurring in your life, in your field, in your awareness. The way things are happening, it may be a little bit overwhelming. It may feel like it's going um, a little bit too off the tracks or haywire, or you may even feel like you're losing parts of yourself. The message here is if you are experiencing experiencing that to give it some extra time to be patient with yourself to be patient with those around you and most importantly to be patient with the integration of what's happening in and around your awakening here this is for all intents and purposes an awakening is what i'm getting here tower and ten of wands nothing will ever be nor seem the same um, it is also important to if you haven't already taken a break take uh, to take a break from uh, extra amounts of physical or 3D work because, hmm, wow, there's a lot coming through for you and your sign because there is some type of shift and the words I'm hearing specifically impending doom, impending cluster, impending change set to occur in the physical reflective of the spiritual. So what your sign is being called to do this month, in particular Aquarius, is to really get a strong handle of awareness of what's going on in the spiritual realms, in your spiritual awareness, because the world needs people who are more aware of that world 
than the physical right now. And you are one of those signs who has the potential to lead the charge within that. So um, be prepared. Take it easy. Okay. Know that there's some big shifts, changes. When I say doom, I just mean like parts of your world may seem like they're crumbling or they may seem like they're going to not really matter <laughs> um, for lack of a better way of saying it. But it's almost like the material things, the thing in your 3D reality, they're not going to matter as much. They're not going to be significant. The things that may even have in the past, I don't see it here, but have caused you concern aren't really going to be as relevant. So be willing to wait out the storm. Continue to work on your spiritual towards physical integration. Rest for a little bit and know that some of the things that used to matter are not going to matter anymore. Two of Wands with the Knight of Cups here. Um, you know, there's a couple things here just to note. First words I'm hearing is don't be too charmed. What may seem too good to be true or what may seem like an alluring offer may not always necessarily be the case. Um, it's important to look at your different options that are appearing to you in your life, whether romantically or otherwise, right? Whether it's coming through next steps in your job opportunity, career, business, your love life. Um, don't be so quick. Temperance is here as well to choose a path. Two of Wands is telling us to make sure to have an open awareness and open arrangement of choices at your disposal so you can really allow for whatever needs to crumble to crumble um, so that you can know and choose what's left there, what's left over for you to take on. Um, again, very different, very almost dramatic reading that I'm getting here. There's been no other messages like this one in any of the other readings so far. So yet again, Aquarius has been the most special reading. Um, now, Seven of Cups in reverse here, I would say, is can also serve as a double reminder to, hey, Seven of Cups, keeping your options open and not closing anything down here. Okay, um, Making sure that um, you are aware that the things that you may imagine that can come true um, very much have the opportunity to very soon. Uh, if you wait, if you're willing to be patient and wait for the right one to come in, that's the message I'm getting very strongly. Re waiting for the right one to come in, right opportunity, right person, right relationship, whatever that is for you, waiting for the right one to come in. Waiting through the storm. Six of Cups with the Queen of Swords, with the Eight of Swords here, the Chariot. The Four of Swords, a lot of wait and see, I, I, I see here. Um, of course, we have the Chariot here, Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, Queen of Swords. You see how this Queen of Swords here is looking at this Eight of Swords here. Also, she's underneath the Two of Wands and the Knight of Cups here with the Six of Cups. So I see here potentially someone from your past, okay, either a person, opportunity, or something from your past that seems alluring or will seem alluring that you may have some pleasant or fond memories around coming around to purvey themselves as a potential option. Uh, well, again, whether it's a person, job, opportunity, business, something from your past here. Um, and you having the opportunity to really see through it in a way that wasn't clear beforehand so you can make a more accurate decision uh, as to whether or not that's what you want. Now, Queen of Swords with the Eight of Swords says... Be willing to look at the things you weren't willing to look at before this time around um, so that you don't make any the same mistakes. Okay, chariot card here. And the, so, so this month is an opportunity for a big lesson, uh, a big growth oriented moment, a big spurt in your awareness or your maturity in the situation. Um, and also, again, a huge integration of the spiritual into the physical that allows you to see things in ways that allows you to um, uh, take advantage of the opportunities that come in that are actually in alignment with you. Okay, Four Swords Tower. This person is busy in meditation as the world around him or her crumbles. And this is what the message was saying for your sign in particular, that things may come to a point of no return. 
um, they also may start to crumble in every which way and you are meant to kind of ride out that storm and that's why that the the message here is to wait until that happens now chariot with the ten of wands is here as well saying if you need to get away if you need to travel if you need to get to a different place in order to secure your safety your security and your space then do so this is what i see here as well that is being advised knight of swords is telling you that the alarm may be being raised for you if this is striking a chord with you okay so be aware there's some there's something happening here this month for you aquarius that I see that is a little bit intimidating, nothing to be worried about, but is also something not to, um, uh, I guess, uh, downplay. Okay. Ace of Swords with the Star with the Hermit, Six of Wands, and the Seven of Swords here. Um, I do see, right, again, this person we picked up on already coming around, purveying themselves as an option or an opportunity or something that's alluring, but there's deceit around this, as we channeled earlier, right? And you having the opportunity to claim victory over this this time around, seeing through it, be will, being willing to look or look at the actual things that you didn't see before and get the answer right this time and close the cycle. Through Ace of Swords, being very honest and truthful. So there is something or someone or some opportunity, some relationship coming back into your space. You having the opportunity to very much be obje like objective and truthful and, and communicative in an honest way that um, gets, again, gets things right, corrects things the way that they were meant to be said or purveyed. Or approached, actually, is the, is the word that came to me. The star card with the hermit. Um, <laughs> whether or not, if you are in a relationship, or if you're not in a relationship, whatever your status may be, the hermit with the star card says you may need an extended period of time with yourself, or you may need some extended, uh, um, uh, an extended period of time just in deep reflection on uh, your upcoming destiny. Your upcoming destiny has quite a few messages that I would like to share with you when you are ready to receive them. Um, but it will take you contemplating through the midst of the 3D storm, doom, or catastrophe, or whatever it is that the cards are saying here that may occur in your external life and environment in order to know what you are meant for ahead. So what I'm also seeing is it's nothing to worry about because you will be protected. You will be guided through the situation. You will be led through to your next steps. Chariot with the star with the 10 of wands. You are here to do a lot of positive work for society, for the world, and you are being guided in that direction. But the truth must be said. It must be communicated. The lesson must be learned. And the work that you're here to do is set to begin. So I hope you're ready, Aquarius. Ten of Cups, Two of Swords, and a Two of Pentacles. So there is a, a big decision here with a soul connection, definitely, with a particular person. All right. Um, whether or not you want to stay on that track, stay on that path that would lead you to a particular person that you may have a hidden destiny with, um, that you find that you are bonded to on a very deep and unexplainable level. Two of Swords tells me that this is a choice upcoming that you're going to have to look at and to make. Uh, what type of overall destiny or what type of overall uh, life path you choose on following this time around. I'm not saying that this person is anything significant. In fact, I would say that this person here is more of a lesson or more of an opportunity for you to stand into your power and to make the, again, quote unquote, correct decision. But after that and soon after, there will be a decision you you, you get to make that allows you to decide what type of um, life path, destiny or future you want to have in terms of your overall love and relationship. 
that opportunity to choose that particular path will come. But you do have to wait. You have to be a little patient. You have to be able to ride out the storm of chaos that's here. Even potentially if you are single or even in a relationship right now, ride out the storm a little bit until things settle down, until you can really make that deep inner choice for yourself. Final three cards of advice. Here we go. Wow, four of wands, the fool, and the queen of wands. Here it is. So... Uh, the advice in particular, Spirit is saying, is to definitely go for it. Um, Nine of Cups says with the Four of Wands, the Fool card, and the Queen of Wands, as you choose love, as you choose destined relationship and partnership that feels right, feels good, as you take that leap, yes, into the unknown, but into a different path or way of being than you may have expected or were used to, you also grab your power back. You also step into a new way of power assertion and destiny as well. Um, these are all very positive changes, very positive elements. And along with your destined contribution to the world, you also get your destined happiness and self and inner fulfillment in this lifetime should you choose to say yes. Three more cards. High Priestess, Six of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Destiny is upon you, Aquarius. Destiny is upon us. And um, when you are ready, that future is ready for you to step into. It's only a matter of deciding you are ready here and now. Aquarius, that's what I have for you for January of 2022. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, if you like this content, be sure to subscribe, join this whole family. We'd love to have you. And uh, do me a favor, leave me a like and know that we go live every single Sunday at 1 or 5 p.m. PST, depending on uh, what I decide in the near future here. Also, if you want to be notified every time I go live, you can hit that bell button and get notified every time I release a video or go live. If you want a personal reading from me, I do offer those at brandontobias.com. You can go ahead and check the link in the description box for that website. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for watching. I truly appreciate you all, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.